Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Enroll. Previously on Enroll, we cleared out day six, where we ran into some trauma involving our father. Oh right, right, I forgot to say. The fairy is going to be leaving your dream today, Russell. This dream started breaking down a lot thanks to your guilt, so it's dangerous to stay here longer. The Happy Dream Rehab program is coming to a climax to do your best and succeed. Everyone's going to be bailing out. I get out before everything collapses. Yo, Russell. Seems like you're fine now. I was worried, you know. Oh, right. Just a second ago. I took a look at that nest you found yesterday. Oh, that thing... Jeez, we can't leave it be. We're gonna look inside it. Seriously? Man, I don't wanna... I don't wanna stay there. Fine, I guess I'll brace myself. No more animals in the cages. Sundre. Morning, Russell. How are you feeling? Well, that's good. Everyone was worried, including me, of course. It seems things are still busy. You should pay closer attention to your health from now on. I told my game Dragon Boy. Good morning, Russell. Good. It seems you're resting. I can just tell from your face. Time to investigate that nest today. What will you do, Russell? I suppose you'll take part? I see. Remember you're still recovering. Take care not to push yourself. Oh, yes, of course I'll take part. That's for the town's peace. <laughs> Ditsy childhood friend. You look better, Russell. Did you eat the meat pie I gave you when I visited? No, I'm saving for later. Because I'm a hoarder. Like I promised. I went to your house after reporting to the mayor, but you were snoozing away, so... I didn't want to wake you up. So after watching you a while, I silently retreated. Sorry. Still, <laughs> you're cute when you sleep, Russell. I watched for like 30 minutes. Yes, I am. I'm the cutest. On the block. Of my dream room, apparently. Hey, buddy. About the policewoman. That woman. You liked her. Even being the bad kid you were. She helped you every single time. So adults can be nice, you thought. That's why you endeavor to keep her from meeting Dad. Though it was a little too late. I think it was Dad who killed her. I didn't directly do it. However... If the mistake of them meeting is the same as me killing her, that's what you thought. And that's why that lady is here. Here in this dream, she ended up not being killed by Dan. It'd be nice if that were reality. Well, that's the end of that story. Come again now. I'll be waiting for you here. Today you'll enter the nest that appeared in the forest last night. Has someone not told you already? For now, go see Saxon to ask him about the details. He should be waiting for you. Gotta visit everyone. For the last times I see him. Ah, uh, Russell. Morning. Well, how are you feeling? Sorry to push you last night. Maybe I should have tried to make things work by myself. If that kind of thing has me beat, I can't rightly protect this town. I'm gonna triple my lifting from now on. You're pushing yourself too hard, girl. It's my fight alone. Good morning, Russell. Have you recovered already? I see. I'm relieved to hear that. I can't read your expression, so I must ask you directly. Things will be getting busy again with the inspection of that nest. Do your best, within reason.
Russell, good morning. How are you feeling? Oh, I see. Good. You must have had a lot of fatigue. You're working so hard every day. From now on, you should... Let us help you more, please. We're your friends, after all. And absolutely don't go so far you end up collapsing. So, please... Ah, Russell. How are you faring? Seems a bit strange when you ask, having been married not long ago. I see. That's good to hear. We should both watch our health, for the sake of those around us also. So if you're feeling up to it, I would like your participation in inspecting that nest. What do you say? Of course I'll take part. I see. Thank you. I believe you would say so. However, it seems not many can go and investigate that place. The entrance is small, and there's a little light. I'll leave the selection to you. Can you head to investigate the nest as soon as you're ready? Also, here's some meager gifts. You're actually meager. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye. Alright, well, let's go. Oh, I can't believe this. How could that happen while I was away from town? It was fine up to yesterday, and the festival ended just fine. Why did it suddenly? What should I do now? It kind of feels like no matter where I go, it's pointless. I wonder why. Ah, I see your town as well. So we're both in dire straits. Well, we'll manage somehow. Our Dragon's Peaks is a lost cause. A few remain there still. That won't help anything, I'm sure. Having both lost a place to be, let's say we travel together. I'd be lonely, personally. That's kind of nice. You guys are friends. Hey, Raymond. Man, that's heavy. It's always such a pain evacuating. Hmm, oh, the boxes? See, we're staying so long to this dream today, so you know. Your dream's gonna end soon. We gotta withdraw before anything happens, or we'll be in danger too. But hey, we'll stay until night. You need to help her. Don't hesitate to call me for one last display of skill. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome to Dream Centroid Incorporate HD Branch. Hmm? These boxes? These are... You see, we're... evacuating the stream today. So we're preparing to leave now. Since your dream is just going to keep crumbling, so... Today is the day that we'll decide whether you're a success or not. I'll root for you. Good luck. I wonder, like... My question is, like, why do you pack? Like, what are you packing, you know what I mean? Isn't this all a dream? Like, do you bring physical things into this world? No, I guess I do. Dun, 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 dun. Well, let's check everybody out. Ah, welcome. What is it today? Today marks day seven of the Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program. You're the first to make it this far. Hmm. Ah, the boxes. I'm preparing to leave this dream. Within a day. The experiment should reach a conclusion today. I'm leaving before I'm caught in the dream's collapse. If you become a success, and are spared death, you may meet a reality. But it all depends on you. Well, there is some ethical issues. As far as using people who are experimenting on this. I feel like the concept of the Happy Dream program isn't necessarily an evil one. Because, I mean, it's either this or get executed. And if there is ability to rehabilitate and they make it a little more efficient rather than a giant nightmare dream world, you know, it's not bad. Oh god. Dragonland became. corrupted vaporwave world. No, it's just vaporwave, it's not even corrupted. I can't believe this. When must we, noble Draken, have to experience this? 
I hate it. That I should leave here and bow my head to some other race's town. Yes, we are Draken. Much more powerful and unique than other races. So then why? Sheesh, what trouble. Monsters run around outside. Entrances are blocked up. It seems everyone except those here have all died. Just why has this happened? In any event, we have no choice but to, live, to leave here to keep living. My wife may love it, but I'll have to convince her. Ah, oh, welcome. Without things to our outside. Please take the opportunity to relax you and heal your fatigue. I don't know how much longer we'll, we'll be able to stay here. But to the very last, I'll offer hospitality of my husband. Oh, what is the meaning of this? Why has this befallen our beautiful Dragon's Peak? Sorry, it's my fault. But in times like these, my practically a sick, my practically a sickness spirit of hospitality must be of use. Well, will you rest here? Sure. I'll make you happy. This town is collapsing. To repay my debt to this couple, I have come from Funeral to pick them up. Now, come to Funeral. Funeral is a peaceful place. Please. They cannot die like this. This couple has given us life. They will not die like this. I wonder if that's symbolism for them actually dying, or if he means more literal. Yeah, our town's pretty peaceful. Except we all like, it's like kind of grim, but you know. I feel sad at the thought of this couple experiencing painful things. These people were kind to us. That is why it saddens me. I am a flower from Funeral. However, these people are going to die here. I will bloom here again. Ah, oh, my precious medicine shop. I heard it from my grandfather. What is the meaning of this? No. More important than that is my life. What am I to do now? Have your towns not also been getting infested with monsters? Is it hopeless wherever I go? Yes. It is completely hopeless. My guide. Your fault. Listen, it's not my fault, your world. Yeah, it kinda is. Listen, vapor waves in now. It's all okay. It's all good. You're hip. Everyone's also possibly dead, but still, you're hip. Or something. Oh, sadness. It's never your fault. Looks like one with dragons. It's your heart ache. Yet the creator and destroyer of this world. Torture of its inhabitants is you, Russell. The well is filled with blood. The darkness scoff represents the darkness in my heart. Oh boy. I don't want to fight you. Oh my god. They want they want a bop. What do I do? Why has this happened to Dragon's Peak? Uh, when did you... Are you the one who helped defeat the Dragon Scroll? You're strong, aren't you? So just like then, please save us again. If you can't do that... If... If you can't... Uh, uh, can't... You can't... Uh. Yeah, they're the dragons. Feel my bloodlust. Feel my snappy bullets. Feel my powerful grill. No. Give him a birthday. No, well, you're tankier than I thought, actually. Smack him. This is what's happening because of your guilt. Who you, we who were born from you are warped by your pain. You'll kill us, won't you? It's your fault that we were born, that we exist in, that we will die.
Wow, you're a tanker than I thought. Just strike him for no damage. I don't want to die. Don't want to die. What were we born for? My existential crisis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. It's not my fault, man. I'm leaving, man. Oh no. Seaside. The festival's over now. The town will sleep now. The festival's over. Everyone is vanishing. Can't even go into hotels. The festival's over. But never really even started. I feel like Seaside got hit the hardest. No. Star Cobo is literally a pool of blood. This is the most corrupted, I would say, so far. The festival's over, without a trace. The festival's over now, because it was no longer needed. The festival's over, because you fought. I'm sorry that someone like me could enjoy a festival. I'm wondering, like, look at the portrait. Is that a drawing of, like, is that his dad in the bottom right or something, or is that just Ram Scribbles? Been time for everyone. Since you didn't need any more. Die. Die, die, die. The festival's over now, and this place as well. Wow, it's grim. The festival's over. Nothing left to do, is there? This is really... God, this reminds me of Yumi Neki so much. Like, even like the random, like, big ass hand here. Oh, poor Seaside. Oh, they became cans. Ha! Ah. Oh. Well, let's go and end this game. Cradle. A clean cradle. There's no one inside it. There is a faint warmth left. Tunnel? What's a tunnel? Get the power of a powerful grill and deliver you attacks. And the dark. Smack him to death. Your guilt just beginning to walk is coming to kill you. Oh, it's a toddler. Wow, you lived. Piece of kelp, a bloody rabbit, a bear ball. The end credits won't stop rolling. After it's over, they just keep going. Because you could call it the end rule. Dun, 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 dun. Clean cradle. Something's inside. What is it? The uh, mom eye. That's a beer bottle. Let me employ this. So I can just kind of explore. There's a faint warmth left. A perfect pill. Diary. 
You weren't born by choice. You ruined my life. Mom always said the same thing. Isn't it stupid? If you can't love me anyway, at least kill me once I was born. A faded photo. Baby in the photo is sleeping very peacefully in a cradle. This place is your cradle. Why was I even born? Your head filled with such guilt. You see me, it's all you can think about. A faded photo was posted up. Family's photo was smiling at a glance, happily. The boy in the photo has his head hung, feeling the hand in his hands. He's being very peacefully in a cradle. Emotionless boy off in the court of a class photo. Woman photo is smiling, an unfamiliar man holds her. You deeply hate your parents, so you killed them. But what about them? They didn't do anything to merit being hated to the point of murder. I'm pretty sure my father is an alcoholic, abusive person, and also a murderer. The mom? More of just abusive, maybe not a murderer. But I feel like she's an accomplice, because I feel pretty sure she saw him choking her to death. Now they're kind of... Russell, open your eyes. Look behind you. Things you're walking around with are all just corpses. Tabitha? Gardenia! Huh. Doll that resembles someone. Kintero, you're the last one left, buddy. The last one left, buddy. Let's go. What you had was a fear of the unknowable. The things you didn't know were the beautiful, kind things in the world. Your fear of these unknowns turned to aggression. Dogma and Cody. Cody. What? Stop tormenting all the people in this world. What are you talking about? Isn't it you tormenting all the people in this world? Isn't it your own guilt? There goes Cantera. No one did. Damn, your hat still has to fall off your head, huh? What is this boy? Mom. Don't hug her. <laughs> Commencing purification. He had a lot of trauma blamed to his mom boy. You and me, Mom. You really think you could be loved in a dream? What a joke, you idiot. I only hold my hand to those who can give me pleasure. Ah, Kimochi. Don't you wheeze on me. Just keep striking a bloodlust. I feel like there's a bit of a symbolism to that. Now that she's complaining. Can you give me that terrifying look? You never should have been born. To hell with decency. To hell with decency. Oh, forget about that. More. I want to do things that feel good. Somebody sleep with me. I might go down. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I better... Yeah, that's still alive, huh? Russell... You really were just dying for your mother to love you... Weren't you? Even if it was only a dream... You wanted your head stroked... You wanted to be kissed... You wanted to be hugged... Very well. I'll hug you, Russell. Because in this dream, even kindness is only there to ensnare you. <laughs> the baby is sleeping peacefully.
Kind of makes... Ooh, everyone's dull. I guess they were dolls. Uh, well, in a way, everyone is already a doll, because they only exist or a dream. So they're both... It's kind of like the ghost. Miri. Mire, that, uh... She came with you, but she also didn't come with you. Another well, that goes. Bye, Mom. Hello, me. Well done, Russell. How do you feel? Ah, oh, sorry to startle you. I figured things would be wrapping up soon, so I came to check. Now then, that's all the sins you committed. How was it? Did you learn a little guilt? Quite a bit, actually. Which is why I'm choking you now. Oh, I'm just grabbing him. Oh, are you worried for the others? Don't worry, they're all fine. Your investigation into the cradle has been made a solitary effort. They won't vanish on you, because they still have a role left. A very, very important role to let you succeed in the experiment. In a way, they're still dolls, see? They're just actors in a role. Puppets on strings. Let's save the details until we're back in town. You seem to be tired. I'll be in the usual location. Once you're mentally prepared, come talk with me. I'll be waiting, Russell. No, we'll walk back to town. Yeah, these things are broken now. Shop's gone. So they've already packed up and left. Hey Russell, I've been waiting. I'm about to tell you something very important. Are you mentally prepared? Got it. Well then, this is the last information I can give you, so listen closely. In my opinion, Russell, you felt sufficient guilt about killing everyone now. It hurts, doesn't it? The worst world is built to collapse the more you blame yourself. As long as you have that guilt, the collapse can't be stopped. This dream will slowly warp and eventually disappear. Thus, before that happens, you must, by your own hand, put an end to this world. That is probably best. Russell, I understand how you feel, but realize. You know what it means you'll have to watch this world, as everyone is destroyed because of your guilt. And know that'll someday vanish. Think it over. If you don't end tonight, you only suffer. And if your real body won't wake up, you'll be lost to the dream. Got it. If you insist, I can't stop you. Well then, Russell, just go back to bed like usual and have a good sleep. And we'll meet again. In this town, we'll all live in this world. Until said world completely distorts and disappears. I suppose I might as well accompany you to the end, too. Let's stick together, Russell. I mean, you are me, in a way. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Bah, this guy's hopeless. Should have run out of medicine long ago, but he just won't wake up. Huh, whoa, you're right. Ah, oh, what a shame. He had something going there. Can't avoid it. But lots of people wouldn't want to leave the dream when it gets to the very end. Hey, we better pay over the name of this room now. Don't want valuable medicine delivered by a mistake to somebody who failed the experiment. Oh yeah, good point. That stuff's expensive. Now, let's get going. Got to report to the higher-ups. Let's see. His number was...
Oh, corrupted flowers. Ah, oh, Russell. Good morning. Jeez, you're such a sleepyhead. It's already past noon. Haven't had breakfast, I bet. Oh, I know. You can come over to my place and we'll eat lunch together. Of course, I'll be making it. What do you want to eat, Russell? Don't be shy. Put in your order. Russell? What's wrong? Are you not very hungry? I mean, you don't have to. Really? Okay, then let's get going. <laughs> this will be great. Hey, should I call everybody and have a party? It's been over a week since you came, after all. Seven days. The final party we'll ever have. Ah. Everything's just like normal. That's good. It's alright. This is fine. Good morning, everyone. A cowardly dream. I wonder if that's supposed to be Raymond. Doesn't look quite like him, but it looks like it could be vaguely like him. And the guy with glasses would be Walter. No, I, I doubt they'd be like AIDS. They're pretty sure they have a specific job that's to help you in the dream. The fact this world is your dream, and what you did to everyone, you must reveal those truths to just a single person. By doing that, this dream will end. And over in the real world, you will become the first success of the Happy Dream Rehab Program. Now, go, Russell, to the person you most want to see one last time, to tell them everything. This is our farewell too. Goodbye, Russell. I. At last. I can return to you. You are me and I am you. Together we are one. Something floofy like that. Cordelia, I come here to confess. Ah, Russell. Good evening. Huh? Huh? You look like you're troubled. What's wrong? You should talk to me. I think you'll feel a little better if you just tell someone. The dream is cracking. Huh? This is your dream? And where people you... That's... It's also an RPG? And there's stats and like leveling and grinding? This is all a video game? 
Jeez, what are you on about? Like, I'll believe that. No, it's true. You fell head over heels for me. Down a flight of stairs. Hey, Russell. That's just a joke, right? I mean, no, that can't... I don't want it. Please, Russell. Please, tell me it's a lie. No, see, this is exactly where I made the pun, too. Uh, uh, is this... Uh, I see. This is where I... No wonder. As much as I waited, of course Dad wouldn't come back. What was I doing? Russell, if you're telling me this, then... Is it time to say goodbye? What should I do? What can I do for you, Russell? Is there anything you want? Forgiveness. So, so you mean... N no way! I can't do such a thing! Besides, even if I did, it wouldn't clear up your crime. There's no point to it. So, you can't, Russell. Let's stay together longer. We'll all be together. Russell. Oh, oh, Russell. All right. That's enough. Russell, I had fun. I mean, maybe we were just fakes. Nothing like the real us. But the memories you made here were everything to us. I wanted to treasure that time more. I won't forget. And Russell, don't forget about us, either. I won't. Later. Bye-bye, Russell. Ow, this hurt a lot. No wonder you complained about this. Russell, congratulations! The seventh day of your happy dream has proven to be most celebratory day indeed! Now then, regarding the happy dream rehabilitation program you have been participating in, by offering your own life to a person who you formerly killed, you have succeeded brilliantly. What a truly fantastic thing. As the first success in the history of this program, you have been spared the death penalty. What do you think? Aren't you glad? Well, things worked out, kind of. I mean... He... Rather than get death... It's a little bit of a rough ride, but he didn't get the death penalty in the end. Having now been fully rehabilitated, a glimmering life now lies ahead of you. Until a twist happens. For the Happy Dream Rehabilitation Program, you have been reborn. Your experience in the experiment, speeches about juvenile delinquency, delinquency. There are many opportunities for you. How exciting! So I'm gonna be a parade, huh? Nah. That is all for now. Please, wait right there. Officials will come to pick you up. Russell, once again, well done. We wish you the best. Well, so long. TV won't turn on anymore. Door won't open. An empty syringe. Russell? Russell, no! I'm sorry, everyone. Even if it was all a dream for my sake, these few days were the most fun, peaceful days I've ever had. Thank you for giving me so many memories. I'm... I'm glad I got to meet you all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. What's up? Never a happy ending. Should've known. You were so close to a happy ending, Russell. Now we can do an uh, operatory tile drop, because it's the end roll.
you, the player. So I guess that means I gotta go to the optional dungeon now. So this, well, this is gonna be the end of this part of this series, and technically the main part of the series. There's gonna be one more episode before the series is technically over. Now be the optional secret stuff, I guess. And we'll see if there's any lore there or something. Also, I can't quit out the screen. It's a bit similar to old JRPGs where it looks like the credits kind of get stuck and you have to reset the game. So that one dialogue earlier I just realized was true about the credits never stop rolling. It's very literal, like the end, it is just the end roll. And you have to like quit out manually. Oh well. On to the secrets.